This is terrible what's happening to us. <clears throat> Nobody's speaking about it, nobody. Have you or a loved one had a hernia or pelvic prolapse? Chances are it was fixed with a surgical mesh. Millions of people have it implanted in their bodies. The KVU defenders have uncovered thousands of patients reporting problems, several right here in Central Texas. Tonight, Terry Gruca continues her ongoing investigation into medical device dangers. More than a million hernia surgeries are performed in the U.S. every year. The majority of them use a plastic mesh. Last month, the FDA ordered manufacturers to stop selling some mesh used for pelvic prolapse or urinary incontinence cases. Despite that and thousands of issues reported to the FDA, plastic mesh continues to be the standard treatment for hernias with sometimes life-changing consequences. It's terrible. I'm nauseated, I'm throwing up. Everything's so tight like this, always, always. And I'm like, oh, I can't take a breath, I can't take a breath. It's affecting my heart, it is. Stuck at home is not how Carmen Pacheco expected to live out life in her 50s. In and out of the hospital, I've been in the hospital twice this month. Her pain and worry matched by her mountain of medical bills, a spiral that began six years ago when doctors performed what most consider routine surgeries, implanting plastic mesh for pelvic prolapse and a hernia. They never told me what, what could happen. And a year to the date, I had a strangulated hernia. The ambulance had to go pick me up. A second surgery resulted in a massive infection, followed by a third surgery and more pain. I can't do nothing now. I can't even eat. I've seen a lot of the plaintiffs that have a lifetime of injuries as a result, a lifetime of additional surgeries in pursuit of repairing the damage that's been done. Melissa Nafash does not represent Carmen, but is a New York attorney whose firm has more than 10,000 hernia mesh cases. Due to design defects in the meshes, um, often there is a surgery to remove that mesh Polypropylene, which a lot of these products are made out of, can be thought of like a window screen, and tissue is intended to grow into that screen. It's as if you pour cement through a screen and let it dry, and then try to pull that screen out. Um, it has become a part of the body. Sound familiar? The doctor reported that the mesh had eroded into my bladder, attached to my bowels, my nerves, and my muscles. In February, well dozens of women shared their stories at an FDA hearing about the problems associated with pelvic mesh. This is affecting lives, and it's major, and nobody's really listening to us. Former IT manager for the FDA, Madris Tomes, was there. And I wanted to present data on all types of mesh, but they only wanted to see um, it for stress urinary incontinence or pelvic organ prolapse. Tomes left the FDA and started Device Events LLC, which runs a website that makes information about problems with medical devices easy to find and understand. I did a search on hernia mesh and I found 25,000 adverse event reports to the FDA and over 200 of those reports were deaths. Last month, the FDA ordered manufacturers to stop selling some pelvic mesh, yet made no mention of hernia mesh. They really need to be looking, what are all the other devices that are just like this? So how did we get here? None of these products have actually gone through the rigorous process of being FDA approved. Dr. Vineet Chowdhury is a general surgeon specializing in hernia repair. I've done uh, close to a thousand hernia repairs, and I put mesh in, in almost every single one of them. Dr. Chowdhury says years ago, hernias were repaired using sutures or biological mesh made from animal tissue or human cells. That mesh tends to kind of absorb away over time. It gets real soft and pliable and doesn't last very long. Um, so it's not a permanent, really permanent solution, but it helps temporarily. Plastic mesh seemed to last longer, so it's been used more frequently since the 1980s. The great majority of patients tolerate the mesh extremely well and don't ever know that it's in there. When mesh goes well, it goes really well. But in the cases where it doesn't, it's not just a little bit of pain. It's, it's a disabling 
problem where people need multiple surgeries. In the first three months of this year, there have already been 2,400 reports of problems to the FDA and 15 deaths with hernia mesh. Most of those reported years after the initial surgery. And you can see device events has found that all of these events have started to increase in the last 10 years. The most common include infection, mesh that adheres to internal organs, even sepsis and death. So the mesh doesn't stay where it's put by itself. Uh, after a period of time, it will incorporate into the surrounding structures and will remain intact. But as it's healing in place, it can definitely move or shift. I have bowel obstructions, uh, throwing up bile every morning. Carmen is not alone. Device events found more than 5,000 bowel obstructions, more than 5,600 infections. All people with hernia mesh, most happening since 2007. I had a hernia the size of a cherry. And now they're telling me it's the size of a tortilla. It's huge. Carmen used to weigh 225 pounds. See, this is the first surgery. Now she's barely 125, facing another surgery by an out-of-state doctor who says her only hope is to add more mesh. To be going through this, yes, they destroyed my life, the mesh will destroy your body, your health, it will destroy your life. So what do you do if you have a mesh implant? Pay attention to symptoms. If you experience any pain, you should get checked by your doctor. In many cases, people experience symptoms years after the surgery. And if you do have an issue, report it to the FDA. It's important when you search the FDA, realize you may not see all of those reported problems. More on that next week. For the Defenders, I'm Terry Gruca. If you have something you'd like the KVU Defenders to investigate, email us at defenders at kvu.com or give us a call at the number on your screen.